Welcome back. And if you just joined us, this is World Insight, your weekly update on all the news and, of course, the analysis too. Now, let's go now to our last story. A pair of bronze animal heads from Beijing's old summer palace, also known as Yuan, will be auctioned off overseas in February. The controversy comes as both pieces are part of treasures stolen by the Anglo-French Allied Army more than a century ago. The stunning expected prices have raised a heated discussion right here in China on how and when these artifacts will eventually return home. Christie's, the world's leading auction house, announced late last month that the rabbit and the mouse heads from Yuan Mingyuan will be going under the hammer between February 23rd and 25th. Each is expected to raise between 8 million and 10 million euros. Yuan Mingyuan also known as the Old Summer Palace and the Versailles of the East, was built in the Qing Dynasty starting in the 17th century. The rabbit and the mouse heads are part of 12 animal sculptures representing the Chinese zodiac in the Calm Sea Pavilion. In 1860, the Anglo-French Allied Army looted the park and burned down the magnificent Imperial Palace complex. The 12 animal heads have been missing since then. Small wonder the auction is generating great controversy. The management office of Yuan Park opposes this kind of commercial auction. We hope France, Britain and some non-government organizations could return the relics through proper channels. We also call on people all over the world to act to help bring the relics back home. The China Lost Cultural Relics Recovery Fund, a non-governmental organization set up to retrieve relics lost overseas, has already taken action. We contacted the agents of the two relics in 2003 and 2004, but could not accept their price of 10 million US dollars each. At that time, we bought back the pig's head for under a million. We think the asking prices are unreasonable and unacceptable. Five of the 12 heads have returned home. They are the ox, the monkey, the tiger, the pig, and the horse. Thanks to the efforts of the China Poly Group and Macau tycoon Stanley Ho, the five were brought back through various financial means. The mouse and rabbit heads are the only two pieces known to exist outside China. The fate of the remaining five is still a mystery. But the 10 million euro price for each is nearly 10 times higher than most of the previous buys. The Calm Sea Pavilion is one set of scenery in Yuan Mingyuan. The animal heads are simply parts of the decoration of the scenery. If the decoration is worth that much money, we can't afford to rebuild the park, even with the fortune of the whole world. Chinese cultural officials and scholars have made it clear that the government will not purchase back what should rightfully belong to the country. We always maintain the same stance on the issue of cultural relics lost overseas. We will not purchase things that were stolen from us, but it doesn't mean we don't want them. We communicate with the holders or auction companies and find proper ways to collect the relics, like financial compensation or similar means. The view is echoed by many Chinese on the Internet. Most of them say China should ask for the return of the treasures in accordance with international conventions. One netizen said, 10 million each is like a robbery. It's unreasonable to pay such a price to buy things that belong to us. Another said, the theft of those treasures is already a shame. To buy them back with such a high price is even more shameful. And another said, Seeing those stolen treasures in foreign museums is a way of education. 
It's a complicated issue in dealing with those stolen cultural relics. We have to consider many factors in deciding which way and when should we get them back home. It's an issue not only about the relics, but also some diplomatic considerations. And most of the relics have been traded many times worldwide. The efforts of countries with ancient civilizations to recover their lost cultural relics have never stopped. Recently, Egypt brought back a 4,500-year-old artifact from New York. Peru announced its plans to sue Yale University in the U.S. to recover Inca relics. According to the Chinese Cultural Relics Association, more than 10 million relics have been taken from the country since 1840. Over one and a half million are housed in more than 2,000 museums in 47 countries. For a country like China, there's still a long way to go to bring these treasures back home. Okay, let's wrap up this story. In 1978, UNESCO published a document called A Plea for the Return of an Irreplaceable Cultural Heritage to Those Who Created It. In it, it says that one of the most important things for any one of us is our cultural heritage. The peoples who are victims of plunder, sometimes for hundreds of years, have the right, it says, to recover these cultural assets, which it says are part of their being. Now, that statement was made exactly 30 years ago, but progress, as we see, has been slow. With that, we come to the end of this program. We want to hear from you, so send in your comments and your suggestions to our email address. I'm James Chow. From me and the team here in Beijing, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the same time next week for your insight on World Insight.